Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving energy stored in a capacitor. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that a 600 microfarad capacitor has a potential difference of 15 volts across it. Calculate the maximum energy stored in the capacitor. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the energy E. We know that the capacitance C is 600 microfarads, which we can rewrite as 600 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, and the potential difference V is 15 volts. So writing down our energy equation in terms of the capacitance and the potential difference, we have E equals a half CV squared. Substituting in the numbers gives us a half times 600 times 10 to the minus 6 times 15 squared, and putting that into your calculator gives a final answer of 6.8 times 10 to the minus 2 joules. Question 2 says that a capacitor stores 1.25 times 10 to the minus 2 coulombs when the potential difference across it reaches 500 volts. Calculate the energy stored in the capacitor. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the energy E. We know that the charge Q is 1.25 times 10 to the minus 2 coulombs, and the potential difference V is 500 volts. So writing down our energy equation relating charge and potential difference for a capacitor, we have... E equals a half QV, and substituting in the numbers gives us a half times 1.25 times 10 to the minus 2 times 500. Putting that into your calculator should give you a final answer of 3.1 joules. Lastly, question 3 says that a capacitor has a capacitance of 220 microfarads and stores 1.32 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs when fully charged. Calculate the energy stored in the capacitor when fully charged. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the energy E. We know that the capacitance C is 220 microfarads, which can be rewritten as 220 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, and the charge Q is 1.32 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs. Writing down our energy equation relating capacitance and charge, we have E equals a half Q squared over C. Substituting in the numbers gives a half times 1.32 times 10 to the minus 3 squared, divided by 220 times 10 to the minus 6, and putting that into your calculator gives you a final answer of 4.0 times 10 to the minus 3 joules. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.